She has two guys with 20. And Abaji with 19. Harris with 13, which is a career high, and Brown with 10. There's five guys in double figures right now for the Jayhawks. While their lead's not double figures, as Meadows again. The Eagles, and just has no problem with it. Two on one, and Brown goes to the rack. McCormick got his miss and scored. Big fella. Force on the boards, a high percentage finishing, a difference in this half for Kansas. Brad Jones is going to take it, but McCormick didn't give enough room. Aiken, there's the dish to Jacob Harris off the window. His final timeout, Lav, and they're standing out there near the free throw line. Gibbs got 23, so they've got 58 points between the brothers. Do that and then get a running head start. Now you got to get it inbound to somebody in the front. Uh, maybe now Harris having a little trouble, but he got it ahead to Brown. Uh, Harris going to take a runner from the free throw line. He did tie up Aiken, though, who thought he was fouled. Man. Kansas backs off. We're under a minute. Want to be dribbled. Trouble for Groves. Puts it back out. Long three. In. Out. Tanner Groves battles for the rebound. And maybe they're going to say Kansas ball now. So in asking about the shot clock, that might have backfired on the coach because mm. the officials had a time to come over and look to see who it was off. What a bright future. Only a sophomore that will be one of the main cogs in this team next year. That Eastern Washington showed this season. In the 2015. In the Pac-10 with the Cal Bears when I was coaching UCLA. Diminutive. He had to be smart. Crap. Try his team by himself. That guy's down. Nine point game, final half minute. Three quarter. In and out. And the last touch this time by Garrett if they don't change their mind. And it does not take a long time to win. They got a score early. Aiken will try a score. Way short. And saved by Groves, but he saves it to Kent. Now he hits the deck trying to smile, but we can enjoy it for 16 more seconds. That Kansas has three guys with more than 20. And now they're just well represented. Comes over, gets a hug from his coach. For the Jayhawks, yep. as they continue their hot ways. Well, a Hall of Fame coach against an up-and-coming coach and in this case the Hall of Fame coach with the win